In 2022, Canon made waves in the APS-C mirrorless market when it launched the original Canon EOS R7, a high-performance, affordable camera built for birders, wildlife shooters, sports photographers, and hybrid content creators. With a 32.5MP sensor, dual pixel AF2, and advanced video specs at a sub-$1, 500 price point, the R7 quickly became a go-to option for pros needing a compact second body or enthusiasts upgrading from DSLRs, but fast forward to 2025, and users have been asking the same burning question, where is the Canon R7 Mark II? The original R7 was a hit, but it's been nearly three years, and the competition hasn't waited. Sony, Nikon, and Fuji have all made huge leaps in APS-C performance. And for Canon to stay competitive, the R7 successor needs to be more than just a refresh, it has to be a serious technological leap forward, well, get ready, because leaks are finally here, and the Canon R7 II is shaping up to be a mini powerhouse. Packed with new hardware, video tools, AI-powered autofocus, and image performance rivaling full-frame cameras. Let's break down the leaked specs, major upgrades, expected pricing, and what this means for Canon's strategy in 2025 and beyond. This might just be the biggest APS-C camera announcement of the year, the Canon R7 II, APS-C power redefined in 2025 The biggest headline surrounding the Canon R7 II leaks is the rumored inclusion of a 32.5MP stacked backside illuminated sensor, dramatically. Improving speed and image quality without changing the megapixel count from its predecessor, because the sweet spot for APS-C wildlife and action photography isn't just about resolution, it's about speed, rolling shutter control, and buffer. Management. This new stacked BSI sensor is expected to reduce rolling shutter artifacts dramatically, making fast pans and subject motion far more natural, increase sensor readout speeds, giving the camera a performance jump in both stills and video if enable. Higher frame rates, particularly in the electronic shutter mode, now rumored to go up to 40 frames per second, this is big news for birders, sports shooters, and action photographers who rely on speed and accuracy to capture fleeting moments. The faster readout combined with advanced autofocus algorithms means you'll have a far better chance at nailing that perfect frame, whether it's a bird in flight or a race car blurring through your frame. AI driven autofocus, next level subject. Tracking if there's one area where Canon is going all in, it's AI based autofocus enhancements. The Canon R7 Mark II is reportedly getting the new Digic Accelerator chip, a dedicated image processing system focused on real time subject detection deep learning, and improved decision-making for tracking movement, this upgraded dual-pixel CMOS. AF system will likely support eye, face, and animal detection with improved accuracy vehicle and insect tracking, especially useful for macro and wildlife shooters predictive AF, where the camera learns your subject behavior and anticipates movement Canon has been pushing this AI angle hard, and if these reports are true, the R7 II might be the most intelligent autofocus system on any APS-C camera to date. For professionals who need to trust their gear during fast-paced action, this could be a game-changer, burst shooting at 40 FPS? That's a flagship feature thanks to the stacked sensor and Digic-X image processor, the Canon R7 II is expected to deliver burst shooting up to 40 frames per second using the electronic shutter, doubling the original R7's 20 FPS, this puts it in the same league as cameras like the Sony A1 and Canon R3, but in an APS-C form factor. Sports and wildlife shooters who demand high frame rates without sacrificing autofocus accuracy or dynamic range will love this. There's also talk of a larger image buffer, possibly combined with CF Express Type B card support to keep up with the higher data throughput. That's a big step up from the original R7, which used dual UHS 2 SD slots and suffered from buffer bottlenecks when shooting raw bursts, major video upgrades, 4K 120p, Canon Log 3, and more Canon isn't holding back. On the video front either, the R7 II is poised to become one of the most capable hybrid APS-C cameras for filmmakers and content creators, with a solid list of expected features, oversampled 7K to 4K 60p, giving users ultra-sharp 4K footage from the full sensor width 4K 120 frames per second, enabling buttery smooth slow-motion footage 10-bit 4,2,2 internal recording, giving creators rich colors and wide dynamic range Canon Log 3, a favorite for color grading in post-production improved heat management, potentially allowing longer recording. Times without overheating, even though no active cooling fan is expected creators looking to push their videos further will appreciate the ability to shoot cinematic footage without sacrificing autofocus or mobility. Combined with image stabilization, the R7 II could become the new go-to camera for wildlife vloggers, sports YouTubers, and wedding filmmakers looking for high-quality slow motion in a portable setup, the R7 II is expected to borrow heavily from 
The Canon R5 Mark II's new design language, with updated ergonomics, improved button placement, and refined control dials. That means, deeper grip for better handheld comfort new multi-directional AF joystick, making menu navigation and subject selection more responsive more customizable buttons, including a dedicated video slash photo mode switch new heat dissipating chassis. Design, helping to manage thermal buildup without fans the camera is also said to be compatible with an optional battery grip that supports active cooling. Which would be a massive win for filmmakers shooting in hot environments. Point one of the biggest complaints about the original R7 was its 2.36M. EVF, which didn't feel premium enough for the camera's performance. Canon appears to be addressing that head on. A 5.76 million. Electronic viewfinder, likely with 120Hz refresh for smooth real time viewing. A higher resolution LCD screen, with improved brightness for outdoor use. Touch friendly menu redesign. Optimized for quick access and real-time exposure previews these changes would make a big difference for both photographers composing in tricky lighting and filmmakers reviewing footage or focusing via the screen, connectivity, media and power enhancements as. More photographers shoot tethered or use wireless workflows, Canon is preparing the R7 II for the future. Expect to see battery-wise, the R7 II will stick with the LP E6NH system, but battery life may improve thanks to Digix enhanced efficiency, expected pricing. Will it be worth it? The Canon R7 launched at $1,499, a shockingly good deal for what? It offered. But with all these spec bumps, industry insiders expect the Canon R7 II to start around $1,899 to $2,099 US dollars. Depending on tariffs and regional pricing, compared to full-frame hybrids like the Sony A7 IV or Nikon Z63, which range from $2,300 to $2,500, the R7 II could deliver 90% of the performance at a fraction of the size and weight release date. When will it drop? According to Insider reports, Canon has already finalized the R7 II's design and begun early production. However, official announcements have been delayed multiple times, current speculation places the Canon R7 II launch in Q3 or Q4 of 2025, with August to October being the most likely window. Shipping could start a few weeks after the announcement, but expect limited stock in the early months due to high demand and ongoing manufacturing constraints, final verdict. If the leaks hold true, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II isn't just an incremental update. It's a bold reimagining of what an APS-C mirrorless camera can do in 2025. With performance rivaling some full-frame cameras, class-leading burst shooting, stacked sensor power, and powerful AI autofocus, Canon might just be creating the most versatile crop sensor camera ever made.